This little $5 adapter that you can find on Amazon might save you thousands of dollars in radio repairs, a lot of headaches, and a couple of choice bad words. Stay tuned. I showed these in a prior video of me setting up my Eagle One antenna. I got a couple of questions on these, so I decided to do a dedicated video just to show you. This is has an SO239 on one side, and it is threaded, and a PL259 on the other side, but it is a slip-on connector. What's cool about a slip-on connector is if anything happens to your coax while you're out in a park or just playing portable somewhere, and something snags your coax, say somebody walking through where your antenna is for God knows why, and they trip on your coax and pull it. Instead of pulling your entire radio off the table, potentially costing you hundreds if not thousands of dollars in damages, a lot of headache, and a couple of choice bad words, this will just disconnect from the back of your radio. Now granted, your radio has to have a little bit of weight on it to counterbalance the pull, but I've known a couple people this has saved their bacon. Really simple guys. Link in the description to this particular item. They're about five bucks on Amazon. Good little piece of insurance. Regular old PL259 on the end of your coax. You put it in and you screw it on and you're done. Now you just slip that onto whatever antenna you want to hook it to. The back of your radio. Whatever you want to hook it to. Slips on, slips off but really easily as you can see right here. And what's nice, if somebody, like I said, tugs on your radio or a deer runs out of the woods and trips on your antenna line, it's just gonna pull it right off of your antenna. Instead of pulling your whole antenna system down or even worse, pulling your radio off of the bench. Again, link in the description to these things. A lot of people will ask me, what kind of ground do they get um, how good is the mechanical ground connection between this, your radio, or this, and your, your antenna system? I haven't had any single problem with grounding whatsoever. I use these at the house so I can disconnect my antennas when lightning comes and things like that. And I run far, far more power at the house than you will out in a Poda Park or running portable. I've had zero issues out of these whatsoever. Highly recommended cheap little piece of good insurance so your antenna doesn't accidentally get dragged out of a tree or even worse, your radio doesn't accidentally get dragged off of your park bench and go crashing down to the concrete below it. 